I don't think I got any video. This is the little sitting room here at the B and B. There's the little office. There's the way down to the place. Here's the way out. Way out. Here's the little sitting area where we never came and sat. And now I don't know why, because it's real cute back here. Here we are at the bus stop. <clears throat> and there's the bus down there, I think. And this is the huge grocery store, which was crazy with all the holiday makers, the campers and everybody. And we walked down from there. Not very crowded out this morning, but that's a pretty view up there, but we can't see it. When we went by, walking by here, the water, I mean, it was all the way back to there, like a mile out. And now, it's all the way up to the rocks. It's very funny to be on the bus this morning, I have to say. We walked all around there. It's a little bit sad that we're on the bus, but very comfortable. Don't have to worry about being in the car. Right now we're on the bus and this car in front of us is having to back up down the teeny tiny narrow road. It's somewhat after 10 and we've arrived safely back at the car and here's the rooster who's come out to greet us. It's like our own little space in the world here at the car. We've been driving along. Milford Haven. We're in Milford Haven. It's kind of a pretty town except there's a bunch of ugly... There were ugly um, power plant things in back of us. Yeah, can we turn left? Take right here. We arrived safely at the uh, Irish Ferry Terminal in Pembroke. There, we went into the temp terminal. It kind of reminds me of the Springfield, Illinois airport. But so anyway, there's one car here in line for all the cars will be queuing up later in a couple hours. So we'll just see what it's like back then. We've been at this museum called the Pembroke Dock Heritage Center. And you can't see them now, but there's millions and millions of volunteers here. Millions. I keep forgetting to open up the um, lens cover. Anyway, it's called the Flying Boat Center, and it's a really nice building. But like I said, I don't know, there wasn't that much to see and there were a hundred million old guys in there who were desperate to give us information about anything and everything. So here, that's the information about the Sunderland float. There it is, the Sunderland float. Here's our boat right there. We were just walking down the street and it's almost as big as the Queen Mary. Almost. Because we were walking out to this thing, whatever this may be. I'd say the tide is way out. Somebody slide, sloshed through all there. Here we are on the Irish Ferry, not quite like the Queen Mary. Interesting thing over there, a propeller. That's where we're gonna be going. Okay, back there is Pembroke Dock, and there's some <coughs> windmills and some cows. And there just aren't very many people on this boat. And it's lovely. It's a little windy. Just looking for that coast path. So here is a 
an oil tanker and we kept seeing them off in the distance and here it is right there. Not quite as fancy as the Queen Mary. Not quite. Not quite. What is now, see, look at that thing up there. Is that like, remember it was called the Spit Bank Fort or something? Something like that. Okay, Kevin just told me that this oil tanker is almost empty because that line there, that would be under the, uh, what's it called? The water line. The water line, and it would be all the way under the water. Very cool. And what's the tugboat going to do? I don't know. We don't know what he's doing. He's going out to help somebody else. Okay, right over there is Dale. Come on, zoom in. Ferry, not quite as grand as the grand areas of the Queen Mary. Not very busy here in the saloon at the on the boat. Okay, we're docking in Ireland. Not quite as spectacular as docking in New York. And here's another view with all the trucks. We'll be going down there and it'll be very beautiful, I promise.